Okay, perfect. So what we want to talk about in this specific video is um, how to send an email using an action. I kind of froze there for a second. Um, so we want to talk about this guy right here, this action. And in this specific action, what it's doing is it's sending out an email to somebody and we're doing that all through a flow. Um, in order to find that, you'll click on your elements here. You'll grab this action guy. And in order to find it, you could do it two different ways. You can select all. And if you click into your search bar here, you could scroll down if you wanted to and go to send email. That's one way to do it. Or there's this email category and you go in there. It should be the only one. So you could also go that route and find it that way. Uh, once you've done that, it's going to be pretty familiar of how you're used to setting up any element within a, a flow here. You have your label, you have your API name, you have your description that I highly recommend filling out that some people don't. Um, and then you have the body of the email, the subject of the email, and then we'll get into these, which is like our email addresses, our sender address, our sender type. Um, so I'll go through those. And let's jump over to our example that I already have set up. In this specific example, so I wanna clarify because for whatever reason, whenever I make these videos, and I post it somewhere, um, I almost guarantee it that I get some type of DM or comment and they say, hey, Jordan, you could have done it this way. Or actually, this is a better use case that you could have done. And I love that. I'm thankful that everybody is so willing to reach out and tell me all that. So just to clarify, though, like this is just a high level demo that hopefully you're getting something out of. <laughs> Um, I get that this is a send email action. You could utilize this in probably 50,000 different ways. Um, this is just the context I'm going to use mine in. Doesn't mean you have to use it this way. Doesn't even mean it's the best use case example. It's just one that I thought of that I wanted to utilize and show you. So in ours, we have a fault line going down into this route. And essentially what we want to do is we want to send an email out another email, because I know that they already get one, but we're gonna send another email to the system admin that's a little more of a condensed version of what's going on with that fault. Um, so that's what we're utilizing our send email action for. Um, so going into, after setting that up, after labeling it, after giving it the description, we have these two options here that are definitely required every single time, right? Which is a subject and the body. So what do I want the subject of the email to be called? You can actually just enter in text here and be be fine with it. I think you can also utilize like resources here if you'd like. Um, and then you also have the body of the email. I utilized a text template for this. If you don't know what a text template is, I do have another video on that. Uh, but it is this guy here. And this is like what we're going to be sending in that body of the email um, to send out to the system admin. Great. So I have those two. Those are pretty cut and dry, probably pretty common sense. If you're thinking of an email like body and subject, like that's pretty easy to understand. Um, the next ones down get a little like confusing when I first started doing this because they don't look like they're required, but you have this email and you gotta kind of take a step back and think, okay, like if I'm sending this email out, you know, how is the person actually going to get the email if I don't have an email address in there? So. You have two different options. You can get a collection and send it to the collection. Or if you just have one specific person like me, you could actually just click this guy and enter in those email addresses of the recipients that you want to send this out to. Um, the sender address, I don't think that this one's ever required unless you are set up as a org wide email address. If you're set up that way, this one will be required. Um, I think that's what it defaults to. I'm going to hurry and read so that I'm not mistaking here because you're watching us for information purposes. Um, it says the organization wide email address that is used to send the email required only if the sender type is set to org wide address. Okay, cool. So uh, this one here, I guess if this is set to org wide address, uh, then you will need that sender sender address is what it's saying here. I will also link this uh, little guide so you have some more details around it. But that's essentially it. You just have these few different things set up in here. Um, you can set up your email address you want to send it out to, utilize the text template for the body, and the subject can be whatever it is that you'd want. You hit done here, you connect it up, and then you have this email that is now going to send out within your flows.